Well, welcome everyone today online and joining us for a very you know, exciting uh, team announcement this afternoon. Hopefully the, the videos that you, you just saw on the introduction there have got you as excited as we are at the School Sport Victoria office. And let me start by formally welcoming everyone to the 12 years and under boys uh, Team Vic Cricket team announcement. Just before we do get into the, the really exciting segments of, of tonight's online announcement, I'd just like to acknowledge uh, the traditional owners of the land on which I present today, the Wawandari people of the Kulin Nation, and pay my respect to their elders, both past, present and emerging, including any that are joining us on the live stream tonight. My name is Andrew Comley and I'm the National Programs Manager, or more commonly known as the Team Vic Manager here at School Sport Victoria. Uh, just to give some scope about how, how an amazing an achievement it is to uh, even make it to this stage in the Team Vic process uh, and give you some scope for the work that School Sport Victoria do, in particular the Team Vic program, uh, we, we have over 19 sports that we look after and we send, send away over 48 different teams to the School Sport Australia Championships each year. Uh, they're, of course, supported by an amazing team of 138 volunteer Team Vic officials. And I guess, firstly, there, there's a big thank you there to our Team Vic officials that are joining us tonight in this team announcement. Uh, without them, this, this pathway that, that we're able to provide for Victoria's emerging student athletes just simply wouldn't happen. So a big thank you uh, from myself here at the School Sport Victoria office to, to our amazing team officials who, who go to the effort of putting putting the trials on, selecting the team, um, and, then, and then travel with the team to the championships. In more specifics related to the 12-year and under boys cricket team announcement today, we had uh, 434 trialists register and trial for the Team Vic team this year. Uh, that, that's a really significant number of students trying to make a team that's made up of essentially a limited number of spots. And so I would like to just say today that if you are un if you're unlucky enough to not make the team, um, that, you know, be, be proud of the fact that you'd made the stage of the trial that you did make. Uh, super competitive process. I had I had the opportunity to go and observe the Bendigo trial myself, uh, and you know the the qualities and the skills of all the all the student athletes that I saw down there. Certainly very impressive. So please don't be disheartened if you don't make the team team in the announcement tonight. Um, use that as motivation to keep working hard on your skills and on your technique. And you know there will be more opportunities, whether that's through the Cricket Victoria pathway or whether that's through through the School Sport Victoria pathway. Um, keeping in mind that we also offer a range of other sports where there's an opportunity to represent Victoria. That's probably enough from me about the Team Vic program and about School Sport Victoria itself. I'd like to now bring on to, to, the, to the stream uh, Chris Knowledge from uh, Cricket Victoria. And Chris, thanks for jumping on tonight. Uh, I'm just wondering if you'd be able to, to talk, I guess, to our viewers this evening about the significance of the Team Vic program and its connection to Cricket Victoria. Yeah, thanks, Andrew, for, for handing it over. Um, Cricket Victoria, we're really proud to work with School Sport Victoria to send the under-12 boys team to the School Sport Australia Championships. Um, several players who represented Victoria at these championships have gone on to proudly represent Victoria in state cricket. Um, and these experiences that they've had at these championships were a a jumping off point for them in that journey. Um, I'd like to sort of say as well, for those of you who do make the team, like congratulations in advance on your accomplishment. You should be really proud of what you've achieved and, and from Cricket Victoria, we wish you all the best in Darwin. For those of you who don't, please remember, I'd like to reiterate what Andrew said. You're still one of the best players in the state. Um, your cricket journey doesn't have to end here. Just as many players who currently play for Victoria weren't at these championships and weren't a part of it, um, so you can still continue that journey through the many opportunities that are going to come up in community, school and representative level cricket. Um, and hopefully one day come here and play on the wonderful Junction Oval. Um, I'd also like to quickly extend a thank you to all the administrators, parents, supporters um, who work hard to make these experience possible. There's a lot of effort that goes in um, by those you know, stakeholders um, to, to make these things happen. So your dedication is really essential to the success of the program. Um, and without it, uh, these young players don't get the opportunities um, that they would have today. So thank you from the Cricket Victoria perspective um, and go the Vix. Back to you, Andrew. No, th thanks for Chris. And, and again, from, from our perspective here at School Spot Victoria, a big thanks to Cricket Victoria for their their support over the trial trial process and throughout our training period as well in the lead up to the championship. So thanks for jumping online with us tonight, Chris. 
Cheers. Thank you. No worries. Uh, next up, I'd like to to bring on our uh, 12 years and under boys head coach for, for cricket, Travis Colley. Uh, he has the really exciting role of being able to announce the team. Um, but just before we get there, Chris, we'll, we'll, we'll make everyone wait a few more seconds. I'm just interested in your insights into how you felt like the trial process worked, Travis. Thanks, Andrew. Yeah, it, um, it's always a very interesting process because the, the level of talent is always exceptional. Um, and a big shout out and a thank you to our trial coordinators from all around the state who um, put their hand up again, volunteering their time, whether it be teachers, um, creating coaches from around the state that we're able to get in contact with. And they provide some great um, insight into the players, but also their ability to be able to run a, a fantastic tr uh, regional trial um, and then work with, with our team big officials to then um, try and put together, which was a real difficult task in itself, a squad of, we finished up with 48, um, who then came to Bendigo on Monday, um, just a couple of days ago to put their skills to the test. And um, and then we had to, to the really difficult job at the, that afternoon of selecting um, 13. So the skill level of that Bendigo trial was exceptional. Um, that regional, sorry, that initial state squad trial. Um, but from the reports from all the trial coordinators was that the skill level all around the state was fantastic. So um, again, we can only take 13. Um, we can only pick it on what we see. But um, and I was, as I said to the, the players and the parents, that we don't sit here and think that we get 100% right all the time. We do our very best um, at, at that point in time. And it could be that a, a young student just doesn't quite have the trial that they wish they had. Um, someone might trial exceptionally. It's just a fantastic saying that I've heard recently that uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Um, and I always relate that to the create that a certain coach may see something, but another coach doesn't. So, and that's going to go all the way through. So if for those players that didn't make the, the final 13, uh, we'd like to see that they use it as positive disappointment, but I truly love nothing more than seeing those players who have missed out go on to take uh, bags of wickets. They make truckloads of runs um, and prove that they possibly should have been in there. So we want them to use that as positive disappointment. And we always... Um, look forward to seeing those players um, that do that and have that attitude go on to bigger and better things um, in their cricketing futures. Oh, some, some really, really powerful messages in that, Travis. Um, just with an eye ahead to the School Sport Australia Championships in Darwin, that they have moved from their traditional time slot in, uh, sort of around November, early December. Um, what are you expecting uh, to in terms of conditions in Darwin in June? Um, it's all, I've only been there once um, in a cricketing with a with a cricketing team, and it was they are tough um, conditions um, for our players going from winter and then all of a sudden jumping off the plane into some really humid hot weather. Um, but I do think that um, we generally and the reason we take thirteen is to try and be, have that ability to to rotate the players through and and provide them with the rest that they need. But one thing that we always instill, we don't really have to instill that the players do is that they're, they're representing their state. So they're, they're willing to battle through those little things um, because as you said, there's 430 odd players who wish that they were in that position. So we always, we do remind these players of that, that they, that team Vic is all about trying your best. Um, it's all about taking the challenges on board. And more importantly, the thing that served us, um, best overall over the, the time that I've been in is that never day, that never say die attitude regardless of the, the game situation. We battle it out um, and we've turned some games with that attitude and that's one thing that I'm super proud of um, with the teams that we've had in the past and I've got no doubt will be the attitude of these young boys um, when we get off the plane to Darwin. Oh, very much looking forward to the, to the team uh, jetting off and, and getting up there to Darwin and experiencing the, the very different conditions to what it will be in Victoria at that point. In, in time. Absolutely. Um, Tra Travis, I might, uh, I might jump out the way now and let you g get to the, the main event. Everyone's probably sick of my voice by now, <laughs> um, but um, give you a chance to go ahead and announce the, the Team Vic 12 years and under boys cricket team for 2023. Fantastic. I'm looking forward to it. All right, so to, to start us off, um, we've got Samuel Gregory uh, and his, when that comes comes up, from the Essendon Primary School. So Samuel um, impressed us with, the, with his bowling, um, his consistent lines and lengths and did a fantastic job up here in Bendigo. Um, next, we've got Harry Middleton. 
Um, so Harry, with his glove work, um, we found we felt that he was going to serve us well uh, with his gloves there from the St Kevin's College. Uh, next, we've got Declan Brasher from the Maris College in Bendigo. Declan's actually a returning player, uh, played as one of our three bottom age players last year. Um, he opened the batting last year and uh, really impressed as a bottom age player. So we're really looking forward to seeing what he can do um, as a top age player and having had that experience already. Next, we've got Oscar Judd. So Oscar from the Halebury College um, just impressed us as an all-round um, with his all-round skill set. Um, we're looking forward to for him playing a numerous number, sorry, a number of roles um, throughout the week, um, depending on the game situation. So I think he'll serve us really well up there. Next, we've got Ara Saxena from the Alamanda K9 College um, with more of his bowling, um, a very athletic young lad. Um, so we're looking forward to not only seeing what he can do um, with his bowling and and really troubling some batters up there, but also his ability in the field as well, being that athletic individual that he is. Next, we had Ned Bolton from the Garden Vale Primary School. Um, Ned just impressed us with his energy. Um, I can't say much more than that. He was just a bundle of energy from when he got there to when he left. And I think that just that competitiveness, that energy that he brings will really serve us well, um, along with his, his leg spin and his intent to score with the bat. Next, we've got Parabnor Bopari uh, from the Mickleton Secondary College. Um, he's all real, all round skill set, another big, strong lad that we're uh, looking forward to, to working with during the training sessions and to really try and um, re get him to reach his full potential throughout, uh, throughout the tournament in Darwin. Next, we had Yash Balian from St Monica's. So St Monica's College there. Again, all round ability. Um, we're really impressed and could play a number of roles. Um, we've got some some thoughts around Yash and his ability to come in at different stages depending on the game situation. Um, so we're looking forward to seeing how he goes in Darwin. Next, we've got Samuel Judd from St Celia's School uh, as a batter. So we're really looking forward to his intent to score. Uh, he just really impressed us in the nets. Um, with just his all-round ability, his composure with the bat. So, again, after working with him in the, the training sessions, we're really looking forward to seeing what Samuel can do um, up in Darwin at those championships and challenging himself. Next, we've got Flynn Bush from Nagambi. So the Nagambi Primary School there uh, bowled exceptionally well throughout the Bendigo session, uh, consistently battled through in some pretty warm weather. Um, and we're just really impressed with his competitive edge there and just took on everything that we, we asked of him there and trialled different things at the training session and did a fantastic job. Next, we have another one of our returners, Artie Atanka uh, from Good News Lutheran College. Uh, but as I said, a returning player, um, has a, a fantastic skill set all round, um, but really, we're really impressed to see the the improvement in his leg spin bowling there. So Artie will, yeah, he'll bowl some really important overs, overs for us um, throughout the championships. Next, we've got Kavish Basson from Brighton Grammar School. Kavish um, really took some feedback on board after last year's trials and has worked really hard throughout the, between now and, uh, sorry, between those trials and the, uh, the final selection. Again, with his batting, we're really looking forward to seeing what he can do because he's got some great potential there um, and we're looking forward to seeing him challenge himself um, up in Darwin. And our 13th player is another one of our returners, Joshua Mithen. So Josh from the Camberwell Grammar School there had a fantastic um, championship in Ballarat last year. As I said, one of our returning players, bold, consistent lines and lengths, was able to move the ball in the air. Um, so after having experience in Ballarat, um, although very different conditions to what he'll face in Darwin, I think he's going to really come on leaps and bounds. So we're looking forward to seeing what Josh can do and the growth that he's had between those Ballarat championships and when we get into our training sessions. So congratulations to, to those boys, the 13 players there. Um, as I said, it's, it was an extremely tough job to select what we believe will be a very balanced team. Um, not to say that there's going to be some cricketers who felt they were really stiff to miss out and uh, the truth is that they, they probably were, but we've 
selected a side um, that we believe will serve us well in Darwin, um, a very balanced side. Uh, it pr will provide us with a number of um, situations or a number of options in various situations, as we know, cricket can throw at us. So congratulations to those boys. But those that missed out, uh, continue to work hard on all aspects of your game. Um, those areas that hopefully you've self-assessed after Monday um, because it was a, a really tough job and that's not something that we take lightly. And as I said there, it's not one of my favourite jobs to choose that team. Um, I, I love running those trials and congratulations to all the all the people that trialled and a big thank you to the parents for driving up or down to Bendigo, depending on where you're from. But they just know that all of you have, have done an exceptional job at those trials and held yourselves, really, you should be exceptionally proud of how you performed and how you conducted yourselves. No, thank, thanks, Travis. And I'm sure we have some very excited uh, young men at home and, of course, some, some very disappointed young men. And I'd just like to take this moment after after the team announcement there just to remind people for every success story um, that we have as part of our Team Vic alumni, whether that be Abby Caldwell, who, who won a bronze medal uh, oh, last year at the Commonwealth Games and only a few years ago was a member of a Team Vic team for track and field and cross country. Uh, for, for every Joel Selwood who, who played football and captained our, our Team Vic team in, in, as a primary school age player. Um, we also have some really great stories of athletes who have gone on and, and haven't made Team Vic. Uh, in particular, there's one that springs to mind, Sophie Taylor. Uh, she, she was really devastated not to be selected for the Team Vic hockey team uh, in the under-12 and in the under-16 age groups. Uh, she's now currently uh, one of the leaders of the Australian Hockey Roos team and has, has gone on and is playing professionally overseas and earn, earning very good money play, playing hockey over in Europe. So for, for every, every success story, um, there's also some disappointment. But just know um, if you're out there and, and you didn't make the team, that there still is a pathway for you to pursue your dream and pursue your passion in sport. And on behalf of School Sport Victoria, uh, we wish you the very best of luck in your journey. Uh, focusing on on the students who have made the team, um, again, a congratulations from, from the team here at School Sport Victoria. There'll be some f further communication uh, either at the, in the next day or so or early next week about what to do to accept your place in the team and, and further information about uniform and, and training sessions and, and, and that sort of information. So that will be coming out in, in the coming days. Uh, but also um, on behalf of, of uh, School Sport Victoria, just thank Travis um, for his work that he's put in as our head coach. Um, I know Josh is, is sitting in the background probably watching somewhere um, as the team manager. Josh, thank you for all of the work that you've put in in terms of the trials. And then to, to, to the team that Travis and Josh assembled across the state to run those regional trials, uh, again, a power of work went into those and, and a big thank you. Uh, from from school sport Victoria for those. Uh, in terms of our in our team announcement for tonight, that about wraps it up from from school sport Victoria. Uh, again, congratulations and commiserations to to the different students and their families who have participated. Uh, good luck to those who were selected in Darwin. We're looking we're looking forward to you travelling up there. And as as uh, Chris uh, emphasised before. Uh, just a final few words from me, and that's go Team Vic.